welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So a little while ago I did a roundup of some free sewing patterns for summer and now that it's fall I thought that I would do the same thing but for fall and winter patterns. It's cooled down a lot here and it was actually snowing earlier this week so it's feeling very festive and very appropriate timing to plan out some fall and winter projects. And who doesn't love when the patterns are free, right? So this time I've organized all of the patterns into different categories. So I've got tops and sweaters, coats and jackets, dresses and jumpsuits, and then pants. And I will be putting all of the links to these patterns in the description box below so that you can find them easily. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and jump into it. pull up my list here. So first up I have two options for some basic jersey knit t-shirts um, and t-shirts might not seem like something that is super appropriate for colder weather but they're actually something that I get a lot of wear out of myself during the cooler months as a layering piece. So I wear a lot of sweaters in fall and winter and a lot of them are knit by myself in wool um, like this one for example and they can get a little bit itchy so I like to always layer a t-shirt underneath um, even better if it's long sleeve just to kind of protect my skin and act as a barrier between my skin and the wool. Um, another benefit of always wearing a t-shirt underneath sweaters like this is that you generally don't have to wash the sweater as often as you do the t-shirt. If you get sweaty at all, then your t-shirt will be what you throw into the wash instead of having to hand wash a delicate hand knit sweater like this. So t-shirts are something that I definitely consider a basic staple in my year-round wardrobe. So the first pattern that I have for a t-shirt is called the core t-shirt pattern and this is from Closet Core Patterns. So this is what it says. It's a timeless wardrobe basic, our take on a classic crew neck t-shirt with a slightly boxy silhouette coming in two lengths with two sleeve options and is destined to be made more than once. Um, so the first option is a shorter sleeve um, it looks like there's also an optional chest pocket as well, which is kind of a nice detail, um, and it's a crew neck. The second option is a shirt with a longer sleeve, and then they also have a longer length option as well, so it's more like hip length as opposed to waist length. So with this pattern, I'm sure that you could mix and match and choose like the shorter sleeve option with the longer length, if that's how you prefer your t-shirts to fit. But yeah, just a really great basic t-shirt, and I agree, something that you could make over and over and never have too many of in your wardrobe. And then my second t-shirt option is the jersey top from Peppermint Patterns. This one comes in sizes extra small to extra large. Um, it's also a crew neck t-shirt, but it looks like it has maybe more of like a scoop neck, like it maybe comes down a little bit lower. Um, and then this one has three quarter length sleeves as an option. So this one says that nothing trumps comfort when it comes to day to day wear. This super comfy box cut tee with three quarter sleeves is perfect for all seasons. Choose a pair of jersey or knit fabrics with natural stretch or try using contrasting fabric scraps from another project for the sleeves and neck detailing. Um, so the one that they've done here is like stripes for the body and then a contrasting solid block color for the neck lining and sleeves, which is really cute if that's your style. Um, you could totally just make this in a solid color or a stripe color if you want. Anything goes, obviously, when it comes to sewing. You can choose everything from the colors to the fabrics to your own preferences. So yeah, I just thought that those were two really great basic patterns to start off with and definitely something that I would get a lot of wear out of um, throughout the entire year, not just in fall and winter. Next up is a sweater from Mood Society and this one is called the Noel Sweater. And this one looks like it's a collection of a few kind of knit um, garments. It looks like there's a poncho and then a sweater as well as a toque or a beanie. <laughs> The size for this one goes from a double zero to a 32. And here's what it says about the pattern. So it says, first up, we've got the Noel poncho featuring cascading sleeves and an oversized turtleneck. It's what you'll want to grab before you leave for the day and then never take off when you get home. Up next, we have the Noel dress. Oh, so it's actually a dress, not a sweater. Um, but I'm sure you could shorten it into a sweater if you didn't want the dress length. Um, and it says it has bat wing sleeves and that statement turtleneck for when you want to be enveloped in stylish coziness. And then they have the Noel beanie, um, which is perfect for those who want a quick and easy project or to get a head start on homemade holiday gifts. So yeah, this one just looks super cozy. Um, I'm not sure if the poncho is something that I would probably make and wear, although it does look really comfortable. <laughs> um, but in terms of the dress version, I think that's just like a very classic turtleneck. Um, I would probably shorten it into a sweater length if I was going to make this one and make it in just what they've done as well, like a super cozy, chunky rib knit. I think that looks really just 
plush and comfortable. And this is a great pattern as well if you're not a knitter but still want to make something um, handmade and cozy for the cooler months. Next up is a turtleneck pattern. So this one is called the Monroe turtleneck. It's from Tasuti Fabrics. So it looks like the um, home download, like the PDF version is free, but then if you wanted to actually buy a hard copy of the pattern, you'd have to pay $15 um, in Australian dollars. And the sizing for this one, how it works is it comes in three sizes. So size one is an extra, extra small to a small, size two is a small to a large, and size three is a large to an extra, extra large. So they've done grouped sizes. Um, and here's what it says. The Monroe turtleneck is a boxy style featuring drop shoulders, a turtleneck collar, and optional three quarter or full length fit sleeves. Relaxed and easy to wear, Monroe is a quick sewing project and a classic autumn winter wardrobe staple. So yeah, I love the fit of this. I love that it's boxy. I love that it has a drop shoulder. The turtleneck looks really comfortable and I would just imagine this in like a really beautiful soft like stretch knit fabric. It says it's appropriate for a stretch cotton, wool jersey, viscose jersey, knits with a last stain, like or spandex. Um, I think this would be really beautiful in like a uh, merino jersey. It's super expensive, um, but just a very like high quality fabric like that um, I think would make a really beautiful wardrobe staple that you could just keep and wear forever. And yeah, this makes a great layering piece as well, something you could layer under um, sweaters or under jackets. I always love that look in the fall when you've got like a little turtleneck peeking out from under a like chunkier sweater or a jacket. So the final top pattern that I have is a linen button down shirt. This is the Jade Relax Linen Shirt and this is from fabricstore.com. So this one is a very classic wardrobe staple um, and it's a little bit more formal than just like your basic t-shirt or sweater. Here's what it says, in a closet full of different styles the white linen shirt is the very definition of a wardrobe staple. The shirt we imagine combines traditional tailored features like button bands, sleeve cuffs, and a yoke with minimalist styling, relaxed fit, and a stand-up collar. So if you're looking for something to maybe wear to work or if you're working from home and doing like a lot of Zoom calls and don't want to be wearing kind of like a slubby t-shirt or um, something like that, then I think this would be a really great pattern to make for fall and winter. And this pattern is intended for linen. Um, all of the fabric store patterns are pretty much made for linen because they sell linen on their website. I actually love linen for fall and winter. Um, I think it's great for layering. You can use like a heavier weight linen and get a little bit of extra warmth that way. I actually have a very similar linen shirt to this in my closet um, that was not me made, it was ready to wear. Um, and yeah, I get a lot of wear out of it, uh, even in the fall and winter, even though it's like a lighter linen shirt. Um, I really love pairing it under like a wool cardigan. There's just something about that mixture of like having linen against your skin and then layering wool over top that just feels super cozy. I can actually totally see this shirt being worn over the turtleneck that we just talked about in the last one. So yeah, just a very um, classic wardrobe staple. And this one comes in two size ranges. So they've got a zero to 14 and then they've got a 16 to 30 as well. So the next section I'm going to go through is coats and jackets, which is something that we all need in the fall and winter. Um, first up, I have two options for a kind of similar style of chore jacket. Um, so the first of those is the Peppermint Magazine West End jacket. Um, and this one is a choose what you pay. Um, so you can get it for free or if you want to support them and everything that they do, you can choose to pay anything from two to $20 for this pattern. And they have sizes ranging from A to M. Uh, so for bust sizes, that goes from a 31 and a half inch bust up to a 57 inch bust. Um, and this one also looks like a unisex pattern as well, so that's always appreciated. So this one says, made in collaboration with fabulous French pattern maker Camille of Camille Made Patterns for issue 55, the peppermint West End jacket is a universally useful general the <laughs> gender neutral design with clever construction. It features a touch of tasteful top stitching and a few fascinating flat felt seams, not to mention patch pockets perfectly placed for putting your mitts in and big enough to store all your essentials. Sew it in a thick wool for winter warmth or lightweight cotton as a summer jacket. This is a pattern you'll want to make again and again. So yeah, I think that this is a very classic um, fall wardrobe staple and very on trend right now. I'm seeing a lot of chore jackets everywhere. Um, and I think that this would look great in like a lighter weight canvas or maybe a denim um, for the fall. And then if you want to make something that was more like winter appropriate, um, I think this could totally be done in like a boiled wool or something like that. Um, I'm not sure if it has a lining, that's the only thing. Um, but I think that that would look super cute. 
And then the second kind of chore coat option that I've got is the Paola Workwear Jacket from fabricstore.com. And this is one that I've actually had on my own list for a long, long time and just haven't gotten around to making it. Um, but I have seen a lot of people making this one on Instagram and it just looks super cute. So um, yeah, I'm thinking that I'm gonna have to get around to finally doing this one for fall. So this one looks like it's in group sizes again and it goes from a size zero slash two up to a 28 slash 30. And here's what it says. Um, workwear inspired, the Paola jacket combines fashion with practical everyday wear featuring a straight boxy fit, four large patch pockets, and flat felt seams for sturdiness. It pairs well with just about everything. Um, and here they've made it in a textured heavyweight linen. Um, so yeah, I think that that would be totally appropriate for fall. Or if you didn't want to make this in a linen, again, you could make it in something like um, a canvas, like a washed cotton canvas, or even something heavier, like maybe like a duck canvas, um, a denim, maybe even something like a flannel. Um, I don't know, I'm just throwing out ideas. <laughs> but yeah, I just love the shape of this one. It's just super classic. I love all of the pockets. I love kind of the workwear vibe that it has. Um, so yeah, I think this is a very quintessential pattern for fall. Um, and definitely something that I'm planning on making myself, as I mentioned. So next up we have a shacket, and this is the Savannah Shacket from Mood Fabrics. So kind of similar to a chore coat, it's a great layering piece, and I think it works really well for those days where um, it's maybe like sunny out, you don't know if it's gonna be super cold, it's not warm enough to just go without a jacket, but at the same time, um, it's maybe not cool enough to commit to something like a heavy coat. I think a shacket is a perfect in-between um, for those kinds of days. So it says effortless and versatile meet the shacket or the shirt jacket. This wonderfully comfy garment looks like a shirt but comes with the warmth of a jacket without being too bulky. Try yours in anything from flannel to fleece to full-on coating. And this one I'm not sure it has both double sizes and single sizes listed on the size chart so it looks like it goes from a double zero up to a 32 um, or it might be double zero slash zero and two slash four, etc. So yeah, I kind of imagine something like this in just the very, you know, classic, typical kind of plaid flannel. Um, I think just a solid flannel would look great as well, like maybe like a charcoal gray kind of flannel or maybe even a wool. Again, layered over a t-shirt, over like a jersey turtleneck. Yeah, it just looks like something that can be worn with anything for fall and keeps you nice and warm and cozy. Next up, we have our first coat. So this is the Mara Painter Coat, and this one is from fabricstore.com again. Um, so this one is kind of like a longer, it looks almost like a lab style coat, kind of. Um, it has a collar. Um, buttons down the front, pockets, set in sleeves with cuffs. So here's what it says. Um, inspired by the relaxed elegance of a classic painter's coat silhouette, Mara is a loose-fitting A-line coat with collar, sleeve tabs, pockets, and a back vent for movement. Crafted from our gorgeous textured heavyweight linen, it's an ideal piece to transition the seasons. And the sizes for this look like it's the typical fabric store sizing again. So this is something that's maybe a little bit longer, warmer than just like a chore jacket or a shacket. Obviously on their site, again, they've made this in a heavyweight linen, so I think that's actually really great for fall and even like spring when you're in more of the transitional seasons. Um, but I do think that you can make this in something heavier um, to make it more appropriate for winter as well. I can see myself making this actually in a heavyweight linen, um, just because obviously I'm obsessed with linen. I make a lot of my clothes out of linen. Um, so I'd actually really love a piece like this um, to have for fall because I don't really have anything like it in my closet and I just really feel like it would be a really good, like I said, transitional piece. I also feel like with this one, if you wanted to, you could maybe do it in like a lighter weight linen or fabric and um, wear it as a dress as well. Um, you could even make like a waist belt to go around it and kind of cinch it in at the waist and give it more of like that shirt dress vibe. So lots of different options with this one. Um, and yeah, I think that this is a just really classic pattern and something that you could um, hack from and make your own as well. And the last pattern I have in this category is a full-on winter wool coat. So this is the Clark Coat from Mood Society. So this is definitely a statement coat. Um, they've made it on their site in a classic boiled wool. And it says, this gorgeous new coat has stylish sleeves, is perfect for the fall weather, and will instantly be your new favorite coat of the season. So what I find interesting about this jacket is um, probably the lapels or the collar. Um, they're definitely very statement, so that's something that if I were making this coat my own, I would probably want to modify into more of like a classic or 
traditional um, style. But if you like that kind of statement, then absolutely go for it. Um, I think that that would be awesome as well if that's your style. This one comes in a size 0 to 30, and it says that it's drafted for a woven fabric such as a boiled wool, so um, that's probably what I would make it in. But it says there's also some alternative fabrics recommended, so there's a wool coating, a tweed, boucle. So yeah, definitely more intended for like heavier winter fabrics. Yeah, I thought that it was worth including here in case um, you were looking for that kind of statement winter coat. Okay, so I have a couple of dresses and jumpsuits to go through. Um, the first one is actually one that I came across while looking at videos here on YouTube. Um, so this one is by a creator called Ella Harp. I believe she's a musician, um, but she also has a free sewing pattern on her website, which is the work dress. Um, and she also has a video on YouTube of her making this dress so you can follow along. I can't actually find a lot of information about this pattern in terms of the sizing, but yeah, I just really liked um, the simplicity of this dress. Um, so it looks like it has just a very simple like crew neck bodice um, with maybe three quarter length sleeves or full length sleeves, I can't tell, um, and then a gathered skirt. So super simple, um, like very classic, something you could absolutely wear um, in all of the seasons. Um, in winter you'd obviously probably want to layer this one over like some tights or leggings and pair it with um, maybe a sweater, either like a turtleneck underneath or a cardigan over top or both. But yeah, I just really loved the style of this dress. I think it's really versatile um, and again I love linen so having a linen dress um, that's kind of got longer sleeves and maybe a longer skirt to wear in the cooler months is definitely something that's up my alley. Oh, I actually can see now on the front of the pattern that it says from extra small to extra large, so she does offer um, different sizes in this dress. So yeah, if that's something that interests you, then definitely go and take a look at her site and have a look at some of her videos, because um, I think she does do some like hacked versions as well, or like modified versions, so you can watch those and see what she does. Next up is another dress, and this one is actually kind of a similar um, look to the previous one. Um, so this one is the Sky Shirt Dress with Flat Pockets from FabricStore.com. So this one has a little bit more um, detail to it than the previous one instead of uh, just being like a simple bodice. This one actually has a button-up um, bodice with a collar and then some patch pockets on the front as well. So this one says, a classic style for decades, the shirt dress is an absolute must-have in every wardrobe. It's one of those garments that works for every season and situation. Our sky sewing pattern is a classic gathered shirt dress with a modern twist and attention to detail. Cut in a flattering, timeless shape, our favorite thing about this design is the flat patch pockets and contrasting top stitching, which adds some interesting detailing. So yeah, this looks like something that's just a little bit more um, classic, has a little bit more tailoring to it, and I think the long sleeves absolutely make it appropriate for fall and winter. Um, the skirt looks like it's about knee length, so um, if you wanted to modify that, you could as well. So that's it for dresses, and then I did find one jumpsuit, which I think would be great for fall and winter. This is the Valley Jumpsuit from Peppermint Magazine. Um, and this one, the sizes they've got range from a size 1, which is size 32 to 46, and then a range 2, which is size 46 to 58. And here's what it says about the pattern. So we worked with French pattern maker Raffaella Bonamy, I believe, um, of Ready to Sew to create an everyday jumpsuit that nails the balance between cool and functional with an elasticated waistband, front buttons, and of course pockets, the Valley Jumpsuit will be your go-to for both work and play all year round. So this just looks like a really cute and fun piece um, if you're into wearing jumpsuits. Um, I think that this would be really cute for fall. It has like buttons up the front, an elasticated waistband which looks super comfy, um, it's got some nice big pockets, and I really love the shape of the sleeve as well. It looks like they're about elbow length um, and a little bit wider, so it's not like quite a fitted sleeve. Yeah, it's kind of giving like slightly boiler suit vibes, but without like all of the collars and kind of all of the like workwear pockets and other details like that. Um, I think that this would be really cute made in like a linen. Um, if you wanted something with more like structure, maybe something like a canvas. Um, it looks like on theirs they've used a cotton poplin, so yeah, I think that you could really um, use a wide variety of woven fabrics for this to kind of make it to your taste, um, and it just seems like a really versatile piece. Okay, our last section of these patterns is pants, and I've got two pants patterns, which I found for fall. So the first one is the Lois Paper Bag Waist Pants from FabricStore.com. 
Um, and I don't know what it is about paper bag waist pants, but to me they just seem like fallish or autumnal, and maybe that's a better word. Yeah, just something about them makes them seem like they're more appropriate for this season over others. I don't know what it is. Um, but here's what it says. So if you're looking for a trouser style which is both comfortable and feminine, then you'll love our high-waisted lowest pants with a beautiful paper bag effect around the waist. They're like your favorite pull-on trousers, only prettier. So I'm a huge fan of elastic waist, especially linen pants. So this one's nice because it has that paper bag waist, which adds a little bit of extra detail, maybe makes it a little bit more special um, as opposed to just your typical pair of elastic waist pull-up pants. Yeah, I think that this would look really lovely paired with the turtleneck that we spoke about earlier, maybe like tucked into the pants to show off the paper bag waist and then maybe layer like a cardigan over top. Um, I think that would look really lovely. Um, and again, you don't have to use linen for these patterns. Um, I think that you could absolutely change the fabric up and make it more suitable for cooler temperatures as well. Um, I could even imagine these in like maybe even a suiting kind of fabric. Yeah, just maybe as long as it's not too heavyweight um, for that like paper bag um, effect at the top. And this one doesn't have any sizes listed um, under the specifications, but I'm assuming that it's the normal range for fabric store patterns. Okay, and our last pattern for this roundup is another pair of pants, and it's the Wide Leg Pants from Peppermint Patterns. So these just look like your very classic pair of wide leg trousers. They look like they're cropped at about ankle length, um, and they definitely have kind of like a sailor vibe, I think. So the size range for this pattern goes from A to J, and that's a waist 24 inch to 45 and a half inch, or a 33 inch hip to a 54 and a half inch hip. And yeah, I just think that this is a very classic pair of trousers that can be worn um, not just in fall, winter, obviously, but also wear them in spring and summer as well. I think they would look great in like a lightweight canvas um, or a denim. Yeah, they used a cotton drill. Um, for their pair, so lots of options for these pants to make them your own. And very trendy as well. Um, I have a couple pairs of pants that are similar to this, um, not using this pattern, but yeah, they're just so classic. Um, it's definitely like a trouser silhouette that you just can't really go wrong with, and it's super flattering as well. So, all right, so that is it for this roundup. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it gave you some new ideas and fresh inspiration for all of your fall and winter sewing plans. If you did like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!